Today marks one year to the day since businesses in Sherman Park were burned to the ground in violence that erupted after the shooting death of a man by a Milwaukee police officer. As the neighborhood works to move forward, some of those businesses have reopened, others were torn down, and one building in particular is getting a total makeover. Here's Katie Crowther. Manan and Joanne Sabir became the faces of Milwaukee for many trying to understand the city. It was really, really hard when you see people attacking uh, our community from all over the world. One week after the uprising in Sherman Park, the couple who owns the Juice Kitchen and their two kids were profiled in a New York Times article titled Affluent and Black and Still Trapped by Segregation. It grew our sense of community. It grew our connectedness. It really rooted us in what was possible. They went on to lead many discussions with a call for action. If you're not available when needed, then you, it's hard to be a part of the community leader intentionally having a commitment to community, doing what you say you're going to do. In one year, they have followed through as partners in developing the BMO Harris Bank in Sherman Park that was vandalized and set on fire into a hub for minority entrepreneurs. Called the Sherman Phoenix, it will be a community gathering space featuring a variety of restaurants, businesses, and activities. I think there's something to be said about people who actually put their money where their mouth is. Joanna Brooks will be opening a yoga studio inside with the hopes of bringing more wellness and mindfulness to an underserved neighborhood. To have my own business in this area and to give back to this community, it's everything to me. And through both the turmoil and progress, their plea to Milwaukee remains the same. Join us, be with us, share with us, but not just in conversation, in action.